Hey YouTube family, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, hi, my name is Savannah Pris and I'm a fitness trainer slash content creator from Belgium. And I'm basically here to um, share my knowledge and to teach you how to build thick legs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if your goal is to really have strong legs, then please make sure to watch this video and make sure to be subscribed to my channel because your support honestly means the world to me. Now, as you can see, we are in a different kind of setting. We are in my car. And you might think right now, what is she gonna do in her car? Well, not that much except talking because I hate talking when there's people around me. <laughs> yeah, I'm that kind of person. I'm quite introvert. I know you might not think this of me, but it is the truth. Um, anyway, I'm parked in front of uh, the gym where I actually always used to train before Corona came to destroy our lives. <laughs> yeah, and then I started to build my home gym. And yeah, in the past two years, I've like trained 90% at home. But I must admit, sometimes I really crave to have like a good session in a good old school gym. For example, here, um, it's just a different vibe. I don't know about you guys, but I've always trained in old school gyms and the vibe is just, the vibe is different. And I really love the old school machines. I feel like the older the machines are, the better they are. Like the mind muscle connection you have, the contraction you have, like, the way you feel your muscles working on these machines is just extraordinary. So yeah, that's why I really try to go here once a week at least. For example, when I lack motivation at home or when I don't really have the energy um, to train at home, because as you can imagine, it's quite lonely sometimes, um, then I just decide to go to the gym and like focus on and in some kind of way, it really works really motivating for me to see other people uh, working hard for their goals. And yeah, it just motivates me. So yeah, that little story apart. <laughs> okay, so enough talking. Let's uh, focus on today's topic. And that is how you can create le that really voluminous look in your quads from the side. That really outer quad sweep. Because mm, that's hot, right? at least in my opinion, I love it. So that is what today's video will be all about. Before we get started, please guys, don't expect any magic exercises I will um, spill today because I will tell you right now, they don't exist, okay? Now, before we get into the gym, there's a couple of things I wanna mention first, and that is if you're currently suffering with knee pain, it could be that, you, uh, that your quads are underdeveloped and that uh, your vastus lateralis and the vastus medialis is not developed enough which can cause knee pain and just really instability of the knee itself so i really encourage you if you're struggling with knee pain to <laughs> keep watching and really start to focus on strengthening your uh, quadriceps the vastus lateralis like the outer part of the quadriceps is actually the largest muscle of the quadriceps as well so it's even more important that you make sure to do some exercises which involves which involves the specific muscle part now another thing is that you cannot isolate that specific muscle part of the quadriceps only so there's no exercise that only targets the outer quad sweep but there are a couple of tweaks you can do to your exercises to make it a little to shift a little bit more focus to that specific part um, which can then help you to grow that specific part of the quadriceps but in the end and here comes number two we could do the exact same approach nutrition training wise follow the exact train training program meal plan etc do everything exactly the same however we could still look completely different and that has mainly to do with genetics and just your build your your build in general so there's not much we can do about uh, genetics and the way we are built but please don't let this demotivate you or so uh, because you can still grow thick quads, right? It will just look a little bit different than maybe someone else because we are all different, right? Um, anyway, I think it's time to go inside the gym and just uh, share my tips and tricks and I hope you're ready for it. <laughs> Let's go! Woo! 
So as I said earlier, when the goal is to hit more outer quad sweep, it mainly comes down to a change in your feet positioning when doing quads focused exercises. One of my staple exercises is the leg extension because it requires zero practice towards form, which makes this also a great exercise for beginners. Another benefit is that it's one of the very few exercises which isolates the quadriceps solely. In this clip, I'm showing you the regular version. This means toes pointing straight forwards. Of course, guys, nothing wrong with this execution though, but if we want to shift a little bit more focus to the outer quad sweep, it's recommended to simply turn your toes slightly inwards. I know it's a small tweak, but definitely worth giving a try because you will feel the difference. Next up we have one of my all-time favorite quad exercises which is the hack squat. There are actually plenty of different designs when it comes to a hack squat machine. Here we've got the reverse version which is great for glutes but as much for the quadriceps. So the following information will actually be useful for all hack squat machines. Looking at my feet position I'm just having a regular form which means feet placed shoulder width stance, toes pointing straight forward and I am positioned right under the shoulder pads. This is the way how we are learned to use this machine, right? Now, if we want to shift a little bit more focus to the outer quad sweep, you simply bring both feet together and slightly go stand a bit more closer to the machine with your torso. So just take a very small step forward if you understand what I'm trying to say. Then while executing the exercise, it's also very important to focus on keeping your knees together. Another favorite of mine whenever I train at the gym is the leg press machine. I highly recommend using this exercise as an alternative for squats in case you find it hard to execute a barbell squat properly. Now again, there does exist multiple variations of leg press machines. I usually use the one which is a little bit more inclined as you can see in the picture. But since that machine was occupied all the time, I decided to explain the methods on this leg press, which is all fine though. <laughs> a regular stance on the leg press means feet shoulder width, toes pointing straight forward and both feet placed in the middle of the platform. Now, if we want to hit more outer quad sweep, we will again bring our feet together, slightly lower on the platform and focus on pushing through our heels. Toes may eventually be slightly off the platform as well to drive even more force to the heels. If you're looking to add a bit more spice to your routine, listen, this exercise is calling you. The bodyweight CC squat is one of the very few bodyweight exercises which isolates the quadriceps muscles. Before you get too excited to try this one out, I would like to emphasize that this exercise is considered advanced and requires decent ankle mobility and strong quadriceps already. So I highly discommend this exercise if you are either a complete beginner or if you're struggling with knee pain slash recently have had a knee injury. The main focus during this movement is basically keeping your knees and torso in one straight line, whether going down or coming up. If you fail to keep one straight line, the exercise will simply become less effective as you're losing tension in the quads. Excuse the sweaty mess. <laughs> Whilst I was in the gym, I was like, okay, you know, I can do some cardio as well whilst I'm here. So I just did 30 minutes of intense indoor cycling, my favorite type of cardio. So yeah, I think I will end the video right here. I truly hope it was helpful and give you some more insight in that, that you don't always have to look after fancy exercises or fancy, you know, yeah things on how you can improve your physique it always comes down to the basics and sometimes just adding a little bit of tweaks um, to the basic exercises can do wonders so i really hope this video helped you out and um, if you think it was helpful then please give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you next time bye <laughs>